The pick a brick wall at the Lego Blue Water retail store is back, although with some changes and we'll go through these. This video is brought to you by McCatsum Holiday Homes in Margate and Broadstairs. Great for a week's holiday or a weekend escape, being just over an hour east of London, UK. Treat yourself to amazing sunsets, a Lego wall or great food. Visit www.macatsim.com and mention this YouTube video and we'll look after you. The Lego pick a brick pad wall is now back after being empty when Blue Water Lego store first reopened a number of weeks back. Naturally there are some changes. First up, only staff can deal with the walls, so the area is cordoned off. The selection of bricks that you have available is on these large 48 by 48 base plates. Any item with a little 1x1 one one blue cheese slope indicates that item is low in stock. Secondly, you can only get 3 cups. This admittedly is frustrating, but apparently is due to basically lockdown occurred just as the next quarterly order would be made. Thus they haven't been replenished with new stock. So if you think you can go in and catch up on 3 months worth of not having a pad wall, it probably isn't going to happen. Some other stores may or may not have these restrictions depending upon their stock and back rooms, so it's probably going to be a real lottery. Thirdly, you can't bring your own cups in from home for obvious COVID-19 reasons. Once you buy cups now the brick a brick wall is open, your receipt is marked. Thus when you come in the next time and buy more PAB cups, if you have your receipt, you will be given the cup price discount like before even though you have new cups, as if you had old cups, obviously you can't bring the old ones in from home. At least this is my understanding after it was explained to me in an awkward way and even explaining it back is a little bit of a struggle. Fourth, you had to pay in advance at the till, then go around to the pub wall where the staff member would serve you. So you had to get all your items first go to the till and pay all together so you can get any gift with purchase items then go and get your cup filled up a little backwards from the way we normally do it i went there at a reasonably dead time about half hour before they closed so they seemed relatively happy to fill up the large cups in halves and thirds of different items how far you can go getting a little bit of this and a little of that and a tad of this and just a tiny little bit of that, etc. I don't know. I usually get items in large quantities anyhow. And it might depend upon how busy the store is, if there is a queue outside, and if the staff feel like you're taking the mickey with it. I was lucky enough after getting my three cups today, getting a little bit of an additional top up, as obviously you can't optimize your stack as you can't handle the bricks. So this was greatly appreciated. Blue Water Lego Store also had a mixture of random pieces left over, probably from Christmas and a possible Star Wars in-store build. Might seem a little frustrating, but at least it's a start. Hopefully they can reorder some more bricks for the pick-a-brick wall soon and the three cup minimum can be lifted. Just feels weird that the store won't sell you product you'd more than happily buy. Baby steps though. Thanks very much for watching and if you got some value out of this video, please hit that thumbs up button. It doesn't take much, but means a great deal to us. If you'd like to find out more about the holiday house with a Lego wall and theme, be sure to check out this video here. Alternatively, here are some other videos that you might be interested in. That's it from us here at Family Bricks. Until next time, when we talk about all things Lego and lifestyle.